Solo? You mean solo? Like, am I solo tanking it? Of course I'm solo tanking it. Uh, yeah, they can. Lustrate is amazing, and so is Eloquium. Of course I'm solo tanking. Just gonna wait for stone skins and everything. Let's do it! Oh my god, it's all- it's an all ranged group! I can actually pull her back! And not get totally boned in the process. Alright, so the first thing to remember about tanking Garuda- You gotta tank her close to the wall, so you probably won't be able to see yourself most of the time, but if you're a tank, there's nothing new with that. Alright, so now I'm pacified, so I can't do anything. Slipstream, easy way to dodge slipstream, move through it, move back in front of her. And then when this comes up, now this part is very, very particular. So as soon as she does this, run in, don't hit anything, and just wait for the steel cyclone to come out. Wait for that many plumes to spawn, bam! Now we're all we're not killing plumes, but I decided to do that anyway. Alright, we are killing plumes, never mind. I didn't know if we were killing plumes or not. But that's how you can do a lot for your group by doing that. The best time to start your MAME combo, by the way, is during slipstream. Now, the toughest part about tanking this is without a doubt going to be when I have to tank Charada and Garuda at the same time. It's without a doubt going to be the hardest part, but I've done it before, so it's just gonna take some very careful execution. So then this, same deal. Get behind the rock. Immediately run back over here. Don't use any moves. She's gonna take a while to run over to you anyway, because she's gonna stop and do friction. As soon as she gets over here, wait for enough plumes to spawn, and then steal cyclone. She went to the middle, summoned plumes, and now I'm doing this part. And I actually need to do my damage rotation a lot because the bard, that bard is going to pull aggro off of me. Alright, that's better. Now we're ignoring the plumes because we took so little damage in the rest of the phase that the plumes can't realistically destroy enough. So then you immediately run behind this plume. R running behind the plumes here doesn't actually reduce the damage you take, but this is the position you're going to need to pull Garuda to after the phase, yeah, right now, like as the phase changes. Then everybody else runs over there. I tank Garuda right here. Now, Charada is going to spawn basically right on top of me when the next part, when, uh, when she spawns. So I'm going to get my main combo up now. Now, the biggest thing to remember is you're, I'm going to take a slipstream to the face. Almost guaranteed right here. It's, it's, like, it's the most likely scenario that's going to happen. Now, I have a Butcher's Block ready for Charada. So this is what you do. As soon as Charada spawns, Butcher's Block. And you should be good on Enmity from this point on. Now, this is the part. You pop, you, you pop Thrill of Battle... And you're and you you're gonna want to not pop, um, whatever it is, whatever it's called, a uh, foresight. You're gonna want to not pop that until right about now, and now I should be good. Now I'm also gonna pop inner beast right here and pop infuriate. Now 
That was... Now, I have to get ready for my rotation. So, as soon as the rotation part is coming, so dodge the slipstream. Now, rotate. Oh, early. I'm early. Don't do it. Okay, now it's rotate. It's after this one. Okay. No, damn. I mistimed that entirely, guys. That's my bad. Now it's rotate. My bad. You can still hold it together, and I'm just going to throw that on there. Why not, right? Oh, this is the part that's annoying. If you're a melee, this part is obnoxious, by the way. Damn, these bards are so more, so much more geared. It's all bards, so I can just take it pretty easy with this part. Now, I'm going to run her to the center. And now, this is the hardest part. Is this pull with Charada and Soprana. Now, center. Over here. Immediately just pull her right here. Now, this is the part that's hard. Because now, it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether or not I have Butcher's Block prepped, because they're going to spawn on the outside anyway. So I'm going to give her Fracture before she goes up in the air. And I'm, I don't have Thrill of Battle yet, either. So, what I'm going to try and do is... Tirada. And then I turn Garuda this way, so that... Oh, that's bad. That's going to hit, so that's going to kill somebody. Okay, that didn't kill anybody, thankfully. Alright, I have Thrill of Battle again. You usually you want to let Garuda come in and then turn her so she's facing away, but the, my turn was off. So we limit breaked um, them instead of saving it any further. Now I am not holding Garuda in the right spot right now, but right behind Garuda is where I'm gonna bring her. Like right to her, to my left is where I'm gonna run Garuda as soon as this phase is over. Oh, so I run through Slipstream. And now, is that it? Okay, now, right here. It's the easiest way to remember. She's dead, but then you would rotate around and you should be good. And that's the basis of tanking her. The toughest part is picking up Charada and not slipstreaming the entire party when you do it. That's the toughest part of the fight. And I messed up a little bit there. I was a little too quick in my movements. Messed it up. When, after the center part, it's the southwest corner, I think it was, that, I, that you want to take her to. Yeah. Hello, Locke. 